Build this custom planter bench that adds an interesting twist to any outdoor space. The bench is a basic build. Start with a back frame, which is two posts, a cap, and a series of rails. Add the rails to the back, flip the frame, and add the front rails. You'll also add the cable rail, where you'll attach the wires used to hold the planters. Now you'll build the front frame of the bench by adding the front and back rails to the legs. Join the two frames by using the shelf connectors and the seat connectors. Then you can install most of the slats for the bench shelf and seat, leaving these spots open to attach the wire ropes. The bench is almost complete, but before we add the last few slats, we'll need to hang the planters. These are actually pieces of ductwork I found on the heating and cooling aisle, and when you open them up a little bit and attach these duct caps using machine screws, you've got a planter. You can paint these or leave them natural, drill small drainage holes, and then drill the small holes on each end that you'll use to wire the planters onto the bench. The wire ropes that hold the planters are secured at the bottom of the bench and at the top. So start at the top and thread the wires through the eye screws and secure them with these wire clips. You'll need to mark the height where your first planter will hang. So put a little tension on the wire and measure down and then mark the height with some tape. Then go ahead and thread the wire through the holes and kind of shimmy your planter up into place. Use a couple more of these wire clips to secure them. Then repeat the whole process for the remaining two planters. To secure the bottom, thread the wire through the eye screw, back up through the bolt, and pull it to tighten. And that's it. Install the final slats and add your plants, the perfect addition to the patio. For the detailed directions, go to lowes.com slash LCI hyphen planter bench.